My name's Janetta Smith, I'm an animal behaviourist and my company's Furry Little Monsters. I'm here today to talk about some of the issues around cat behaviour. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go through some tips about how to achieve cat obedience. Um, often cats are very much self-reliant um, and tend to do their own things anyway, but just, just to try and sort of bribe them to get them into sort of doing things. Um, first of all, you must show them a lot of kindness, respect and love. Um, obviously a happy cat will be more receptive. If, you, if they're stressful around you, if you're too demanding, then forget it. They, they will not do what you want them to do. So you've got to be calm, positive and jolly. Um, one of the ways that you can actually build a bond with a cat is lots of mental stimulation, activities and games, provide them with little food treats, hide them in things in boxes, in sort of cat boxes, in crinkle bags, hide them around the house, lots of catnip toys, those sort of things, play with them so you build up a, a good rapport with your cat. Um, you can even provide like a little herb garden because they like things like mint and parsley and rosemary. That will stimulate their senses, their smell senses and keep them happy. Use lots of distractions. So obviously if you're, if you're wanting them to do something for you, if you distract them um, away from what, you know, if they're going to move away or go and do something you don't want them to do, try and sort of tease them with, with food or a toy or something just to sort of distract them away from that. Another way to sort of keep a cat happy is to um, use your fingers around the facial glands. They've got happy pheromones in their facial glands. So if when you're grooming or stroking, just stimulate those and that will get a very happy cat. And then he's going to be more receptive, he or she's going to be more receptive to uh, doing what you want. You can train a cat into doing things like jumping through hoops, coming up on chairs, you know, going getting things. Um, often that is used with bribery, food treats. So again, you know, go and get their, their favourite treat, um, but do it one step at a time. And with any training, with any training at all, do it little and often and don't overkill on it until the, the cat's fed up and walks away. Always leave on a good note. So this just a few tips on trying to keep a cat obedient.